Okay, welcome to this special CUBE conversation. I'm John Furrier, your host of the CUBE. We're here talking about the evolving capabilities of VCF on VxRail, VCF being VMware Cloud Foundation, obviously VxRail from Dell Technologies. Samuel Nimi is here, product manager of VCF on VxRail. He's got the keys to the kingdom. He is <laughs> going to give us the update on what's going on. Obviously, um, with all the major IT operational conversations going on with Cloud Cloud Native, how to get the best excellence out of the organization as we come through the pandemic, big stuff happening. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, happy to be here. In June, you guys announced some major updates that, that's coming on to VMware's Cloud Foundation on VxRail that would allow customers to extend their, their capabilities and their, their um, ability to innovate. Um, in the landscape and with external storage. Can you take us through what's new, what's the situation and uh, tell us what's happening? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, first off, if you're, for those who might be watching who are not familiar with VCF and VxRail, um, you know, VxRail is our hyper-converged infrastructure uh, system that allows for you know, massive uh, data center scaling um, at, you know, from node to node to node. Um, VCF on VxRail specifically is the VMware SDDC software suite that allows us to create a private cloud with VxRail deployments. So instead of saying, I want to manage this cluster and this cluster and this cluster, um, VCF allows us to manage VxRail clusters and deployments at a, at a big scale. Um, so VCF and VxRail, um, you know, we've gone from in the last uh, two and a half years or so that we have uh, been available as a product, we've gone from nothing to tens of thousands of nodes deployed across the world. And it has been a, um, a roller coaster of a ride. And we're just thrilled with the success that we've had so far. And what's um, been new since the release in June? What's new? Absolutely. So, um, you know, one thing that we've realized from a VxRail perspective is that you know, as we grow and as our data center and enterprise scale customers continue to grow their VCF or, or their VxRail environments, um, VCF on VxRail has to evolve as well. And in June, we announced an ability for uh, VCF and VxRail to consume external storage. Now, hyperconverged uh, means you know storage, networking, uh, network virtualization. I should say, uh, your server all in one box. Um, External storage gives us the ability to utilize your existing Dell EMC storage arrays um, and use that data centric uh, kind of storage deployment with your existing or net new um, VCF and VxRail deployments. It's really exciting stuff. Um, and we're you know really looking forward to be able to even better provide solutions for our customers at that, that big enterprise scale. So a lot of change happening. Scale is a big, big, big word here, right? We're seeing scale modern applications looking for environments, you talk about hybrid cl private cloud. I mean, essentially cloud operations is private cloud, if you will. I got to ask you on, the, on this big product that you have, VCF on VxRail, what are the drivers behind making this option viable for customers? What are they looking for? Sure. Why are they consuming it this way? What are the, what are the key, th key aspects of driving this force? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, we, what we found is that with vSAN, which has been widely successful on VxRail, it's fantastic for general, general purpose workloads. And we don't see that changing. Um, what we see is an ability for our customers to leverage the extreme speed of our PowerStore T, our PowerMax, and our Unity XT storage arrays um, so that you can get that, that sub millisecond latency that you're used to out of those storage arrays and have the same benefits in a, say another workload domain of your existing vSAN deployment. Now, my favorite uh, example of a use case for that is when you have sub millisecond latency that something like a Power, PowerMax can provide. Um, let's say you're standing at the gas pump. You know, it's cold. I'm here in Minnesota. It was three degrees here yesterday. Um, when I'm standing at the gas pump, swipe my card. I don't want to wait and wait and wait for that, that database hit. For my card to go through, I want it now. Um, PowerMax and our you know, PowerStore T, Unity XT, with those crazy low latencies, they allow our VCF and VxRail customers um, to not have to wait at the pump. So <laughs> when our enterprise customers uh, have those things deployed with that crazy low latency for database hits, you're not standing at the pump, you're not waiting awkwardly at the 
uh, grocery store for your card to go through, you really get that extreme speed that those big storage arrays can provide. Yeah, I saw the weather and Minnesota, my brother lives in that area too, was complaining about it on the family text. But this is an edge case, whether you're swiping your credit card on the pump, this latency discussion on the edge is really a key conversation because yep. that's what you're, you're going to get cold waiting, but still you could be, you know, a key data store for say some equipment in a manufacturing operation or uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a farm or somewhere. So again, this brings up the whole edge. Sure. Is that an area, is that the driver, one of the drivers, or is it also just in general the performance? You know, I, I, I would say it depends on what you need out of your uh, storage array. If you need that performance at the edge, um, you know, VCF uh, can deploy remote clusters in a metro distance within 50 milliseconds. So you can have your center and you can have your edges. Um, you can put um, storage arrays behind those edges. You can have that kind of, you know, speed from place to place to place to place. Um, or you can use traditional vSAN storage. So it really comes down to what your storage use case is. Um, maybe you have a need of the data replication that PowerMax can provide from one site to the other, and that, that's your backup for your edges. Um, those kinds of things can all be utilized with VCF and VxRail and remote clusters at the edge. What are some of customer use cases? Can you just walk me through some examples of customers that you have and what they're interested in, and what, what kind of advantages they're seeing with the capability? Certainly, so we have a number of customers who have high level of data uh, resiliency requirements. Um, that you know, we have that that 99 point, lots of nines <laughs> resiliency that the PowerMax, you know, it's and it's uh, forebears VMAX have provided for and 20 some years now. Um, those customers say at our financial institutions where they have to have um, massive levels of resiliency. Uh -huh. um, we have customers who, frankly, have separate. Um, buying cycles where they buy their compute one one year and then maybe two years later that's when their storage comes up for for uh, renewal so those customers are able to leverage both vcf and bx rail and their external storage um you know I, I i'm not going to drop customer names i've got a couple that come to mind um but i'll say in the financial institution um, and in healthcare especially is where and we what see pro what's pro what problem are they solving what's oh, you don't have to name names because i know it's public sure. company and everything, but you know what, it, it, all the reference stuff, but what's the anecdotal, what's the the main problem? What's the, kind of the use cases that jump out and people, if people are watching might think that they should be using this. What signals and um, signs uh, should they be looking for? Absolutely, I would say first off data resiliency. Um, you know, I'm just in love with PowerMax. So uh, that's the first thing that jumps to mind. Um, extreme performance, whether it's databases or uh, you know, having a need to get data out to their customers as quickly as possible. Um, replication comes to mind. Uh, those are the, the big three. And then of course, where you maybe need a little bit of compute and a lot of storage. Our dynamic nodes in VCF on VxRail means that we can sell our nodes without any storage. And that really gives us an ability to just say, I need a lot of compute, I need a little compute, whatever it might be, I'm going to scale my uh, my nodes and my storage independently of one another. Where can people get more information to find out? Sure, absolutely. So for more information, um, you can always go to Dell.com. You can reach out to your uh, sales team um, uh, and talk to your VMware sales, sales team as well, who are well-versed in VCF on VxRail deployments. Um, but we're always here, uh, Dell.com, and we're always just an email away. So while I got you here, so I want to ask you about this notion of simplifying the IT operational experience. Sure. In your view, as you look out on the horizon from your perspective, being the product leader on this area, what's, what's on the mind of the customer? What, what's the psychology out there? What's some of the uh, environmental conditions that they're facing relative Absolutely. to their landscape? Is it do more with less, the classic cliche? Is it actually a replatforming? Is it refactoring? Is it application developers? What is, what's some of the big drivers there? in terms of the customers that you're seeing? So as a customer um, today, you know, I have so many options for where to put my data and where to put my, um, put my VMs and my development. Um, I want to look at what, what is the best route for my business? You know, is it a, um, a hybrid cloud offering? And if yes, you know, what, what's the easiest way to manage that? Because at the end of the day, if I'm spending money on, um, 
maintenance, spending money on, you know, staff who are not accelerating the business, but just keeping the thing going. Um, what's, what's the best way to do that? And VCF on VX Rail today really allows our customers to deploy a private or a hybrid cloud rather, and maintain the entire th thing through one interface, that interface being SDDC manager. Um, you know, when we look at the, the benefits of it, VCF uh, 4 on VxRail today provides Tanzu. Um, so for customers who need to have a development platform in their hybrid cloud, Tanzu is the, the easy option or the easy answer for that. So, you know, it is a big answer. What's driving this? Um, lots of things. Um, but really, it's data center modernization. It's moving from a traditional st servers uh, with virtual machines on them into the hybrid cloud. Yeah, and you were missing resilience here on the data. I think that's awesome because at the end of the day, it's data driven. Everyone wants more data. Database has been around for a while. So making that go faster is really critical. Awesome, that's right. awesome conversation. And now on the VCF on VxRail, what's the bottom line? If you had to summarize the, the, the uh, evolution capabilities that are coming on, they're evolving. Sure. You're the product manager, you get the keys to the kingdom. What's next, what's happening? <laughs> Um, you know, if I'm, um, if I'm looking at VCF and what's, what's next and what's on the way, you know, really life cycle management. So, you know, when our customers talk about what, what it looks like to life cycle their systems without VCF on VxRail, um, and the complexity of doing that without VCF, um, it's life cycle management is the reason for being, you know, we look at, um, the from everything we lifecycle from the hardware of the VX Rail nodes, including you know, disk firmware, HBAs, uh, NICs, NIC drivers, et cetera, to the VCF uh, SDDC software suite. Um, all of those components therein, vSphere, vCenter, um, ESXi, I'm going through the, the checklist in my head here, the vRealized components getting all of that life cycle to a, um, a good continuously validated state is really, really tough. And then you add storage, that's one more thing. So I want to be able to just have um, a single click that will go through, uh, you know, LCM my entire hybrid cloud environment from hardware to software stack so that I can manage that external storage that I just added to my system without adding more pain. So um, really with VCF on VxRail, um, it's, it's the only joint, jointly engineered solution uh, from an HCI vendor like VxRail and VMware to deliver that single click soup to nuts, hardware to software suite um, LCM. LCM is the name of the game and we're going to continue to um, make that, in, uh, innovate on that in new ways that, that <laughs> I can't even say yet. I can't wait to hear the innovation is a great model putting that out there, getting the environments all, all scaled up. Sam Nimi, product manager, VCF, VMware Cloud Foundation on VxRail with Dell Technology. Thanks for coming on this CUBE conversation. Absolutely, thanks John. Okay, it's theCUBE here in Palo Alto. I'm John Furrier, your host. Thanks for watching.